Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a Serum Tip and Trick tutorial video on ADSR. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make FM wavetables, or wavetables that have a strong element of frequency modulation or FM synthesis in the sound of the wavetable itself. So to do this, go to Menu, Initialize Preset. You're going to have to use two oscillators, and what we're going to ultimately do is resample using a warp mode on one of the oscillators using an FM warp node, we're going to resample that into our synth and into our oscillators. But to do it, you have to use an LFO. So let's check this out. So first thing I'm going to do in oscillator A is load up a wavetable. It can be any wavetable that you like, just do not choose one with a lot of glitches in between the actual cycles. So listen to this. All right, that's not a smooth crossfade style wavetable. Well, this one will be though. All right, that'll work. Now let's go to oscillator B, and we're gonna choose, I like using fairly basic waves like saw, square, that sort of stuff. We're gonna go and we're gonna select the analog sine. This is basically gonna be our modulator for our FM synthesis. So we just want a sine wave right here. So if we go to sine, there it is. We can also go to basic shapes, but we'll just use the analog, let's use the analog sine right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the volume of my oscillator B down. I don't want to hear that sine wave. And then you're going to go to your warp modes for oscillator A, and you're going to choose FM from B. And now moving through your warp mode knob here creates an FM synth style sound. That's very, very much like something you can get in FM8, for instance. Right? All right, so let's turn that back down. Now, what we could do is you could, and this is the wrong way to do it. You Let me copy this. You could go menu, and you could resample to oscillator B or whatever it may be. So let's resample the whole synth to oscillator B. That's that's going to tell Serum to take a snapshot of everything going on in the synth. So even if we had like the noise, the sub, and the filter going, it would take that information and convert it into a wavetable. But we just have oscillators A and B active right now. So if we do that, and now we go to oscillator B, we can see this is the wavetable that it just made. But if I solo oscillator B, doesn't sound very much like an FM synth style sound, right? So well, what happened? Well, let's go back to, let's go back a couple steps. So now we're just at oscillator A, we have a wavetable loaded in, we have FM from B active, and we have a sine wave loaded up on oscillator B, and the output's turned down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to an LFO to do this in the, I think, the best way to do it. And you're going to make a ramp up just like this, okay? And then you're going to change it to a bar. I have the best results with a bar. And you're going to change it to envelope. So it's not actually going to bounce back and forth. It's just going to play one time through that shape at the time duration that we chose. Now I'm going to modulate the, the depth of my warp mode. So the FM from B. Now listen to this. Right, it started to get really kind of like something you'd hear from an FM synth. Now you can do this on the wavetable position as well as the FM position. What I typically like to do is use a little bit of both. All right, so let's try that. What we're going to do is go menu, and we're going to resample to oscillator B. So that took all the information of the synth, converted it into a wavetable, and it just dumped it on oscillator B. Now let's check out oscillator B. Now this looks more interesting. So oscillator A is turned off. Now let's listen to oscillator B. So now that to me sounds a lot like something you'd get out of an FM synth. So then you can go back and change your, your LFO shape to something to just add some movement to your wavetable. Change the depth a little bit. We'll change it from trigger. We'll just change it to trigger. just to add some movement to your sound, but that's how you can create an actual FM sounding wavetable straight inside of Serum. And this, is, this can get some crazy results if you use more intricate looking 
uh, oscillator shapes. So let's actually do that. We're going to go back to a couple steps, and we're going to change this waveform. Let's go to a digital waveform. Let's choose Reese. This one's a really interesting waveform. Okay, so we're going to go back to our LFO, change it to trigger, I'm sorry, envelope, change it to a bar. We're going to then modulate into the FM from B. Let's try going to the wavetail position as well. All right, and let's actually change up the waveform on oscillator B. Because you get little different, you get differences with that. That one might be interesting. Let's re, let's resample this. So we're going to go to resample to oscillator B, and let's turn off oscillator A, and let's look at oscillator B now, and let's listen to this. Very very much like an FM synth. So there you guys go. There is how you can create FM sounding wavetables in Serum. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. I'll see you guys next time.